Welcome to the first section of this volume, Shiny Layout Functions. In this section, we're going to take a look at Bootstrap and how it works with Shiny, how to produce layouts using rows and columns, a summary of all the different layout functions available with Shiny, we'll look at using navigation bar and navigation list layouts, and we'll look at using conditional UI elements as well as taking control of the UI. In this video, we'll be looking at an introduction to Bootstrap. We're going to spend a bit of time talking about the Bootstrap framework and what it is. We're going to look at how you use Bootstrap and the concepts that it brings to web design in a Shiny application. Lastly, we'll look at how you add a theme to a Bootstrap setup from within a Shiny application. Bootstrap is an open source toolkit that makes use of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. It is of particular interest to web developers because it enables you to make responsive websites, that is, those that scale themselves seamlessly depending on the size and resolution of your user's screen, whether it be a PC monitor, tablet, or phone. Shiny is built on Bootstrap version 3. At the time of recording, version 4 is the most current version of the Bootstrap framework. The main content that Bootstrap brings, which is of interest to Shiny developers, is the grid system. The grid system is a way of organizing content very simply by organizing first by rows and then by columns. It is described in detail in the next video. Familiarity with Shiny will breed familiarity with many components of the Bootstrap framework, such as navbars, a way of organizing content on a page using a bar with icons which bring up different content. Navigation bar setups are covered in a video later in this section. Also familiarity with well panels. These are based on the well class from Bootstrap and they are a panel with a gray border suitable for organizing inputs and outputs. It has been superseded in version four by the card component. Also modals, which are a pop-up information box that can give alerts to your users. As you develop more with Shiny, it's worth learning the connections to the Bootstrap framework so you can take control of the content using HTML and CSS should the need arise. Because Shiny is based on the Bootstrap framework, you are, of course, always using Bootstrap whenever you use Shiny. However, you'll be aware of it when you move away from using the vanilla layout functions, such as sidebar layout, and use the grid system from Bootstrap to lay out your applications using fluid or fixed page. The next video describes the grid system and how to use it. You will also probably want to make use of Bootstrap if you move to HTML templates or raw HTML. Although, of course, if you wanted to, you could restyle using your own CSS. It's worth being aware, finally, of the Bootstrap page function, which provides a sort of minimal shiny UI setup. It loads the Bootstrap CSS and JavaScript but doesn't put anything else into the HTML. The rest is up to you. We'll see this command in the next video. Lastly, it's worth noting you are not stuck with the default appearance of Bootstrap. There are many free and open source themes available on the web. Using them is as simple as putting them inside a www folder, which is at the same level as your application, and providing the file name, for example, sandstone.css, as the theme argument to fluid page, fixed page, bootstrap page, or navbar page.